Hello, I'm Emma. And I'm Tracy. And we are Curly Teams. Teams. Hello again. Doing well. <laughs> you're doing really well. If you're still with us, we're, if you're still with us, that's amazing. Thank you so much. Yeah, we're really pleased. If you are still watching, thanks so much. Yeah, thanks we so much. really, really so, appreciate you taking the time yeah. out of your day to sit and watch us. Yakking on. Yakking on. Yakking on. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. We're doing it for our kids, really. You know that, don't you? We're doing it for our kids? Yeah, we're doing this for our kids. It's for posterity. <laughs> posterity. Yeah. I think that's the right word, isn't it? Is it? Do you reckon? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if any of mine are still watching, actually. I doubt, I doubt I very much think, mine are. I don't think they are now. No. I think the novelty's worn off now, and they're like, yeah, yeah. okay, work yeah. my mum. Yeah. So. Yeah, the youngest one just... Goes like that. <laughs> so yeah, I keep joking with mine that um, because some of the music on on the little festival of Mon festival of quilts um, montage. That oh we yeah, did, I just, yeah. I yes, that. Where um, did that come from? Um, so one of them is my youngest son's band, and I asked them if we could use a little bit of their music. Oh yes, yeah, right. And I was joking with them, and I said, you know, obviously it could be your launch pad. <laughs> We have so many subscribers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm thirty six, and I think I'm two of them. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Numbers don't matter. It's fine. Yeah. So, who, who did the music for the for the festival of quilts where you interview Mary Palmer? So, um, so the first part, the first part of it is Rose Atlas, which is is Tom's band, oh. and then there is a, a slightly softer piece towards the end, which is um, one of the free free music tunes that you can take off of YouTube because you have oh, they have okay. free music that you can oh, I didn't access. Know that. Yeah, I, know I think that. it's yeah. a band called the one twenty six hundred and twenty sixers or one oh, one two yeah. sixers or something like that. Yeah. So well we might have some new music coming because my son's coming back to stock for a couple of weeks during his holiday and he said that he would bring his stuff and he would probably make us some tunes. Ooh fab so, but he's, that'd be good. Yeah he's that'd be just, exciting. Yeah. But we both have musical songs, don't we? We do, yes. Um, yeah. So my, my son's a musician in the army. Um, and he actually <laughs> plays guitar. Yeah. And does vocals. So he's in the uh, one of the contemporary pop groups. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. Well, not pop groups, but rock bands, I think they call bands, them. Yeah, rock yeah. bands. So. so, yeah. So he that's his job. It is. That's his job. He does that for a living. He does. So he does record his own stuff every now and again, though. So, uh, but trying to get them to do something for you is another thing, of course. As I'm sure you all know. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Anyway, it's um, it's a sort of iffy, iffy weather day today. It's if you can't quite make its mind up what it's doing. We're at Tracy's studio, and um, behind us as our as our backdrop this time, we've got um, one of well, they've all been Tracy's quilts um, in the previous videos anyway. But um, we've got this one. Which is lovely. Uh, yes. yes. Keep saying you want to pinch this. Well, <laughs> there's a story to there's this. There's a story, as you'd expect. <laughs> Tell us the story, Tracy. Well, it was made last year. Uh, it went into the Festival of Quilts last year, but it was made as a, um, a 40th birthday gift for a friend of ours who actually turned 40 about seven years ago, I think. <laughs> well, it's quite good going, I think, actually, then. No, actually, I don't know how old she is now, but it was, a, it was many years ago. Um, so yes, so it was gifted to Caroline, so Caroline if you're watching, thank you very much for letting me borrow the quilt back because I borrowed it for, um, I actually did a seminar at the Festival of Quilts, it was one of my jobs when I was there, yep. and I used it as part of that, um, so I borrowed it back, and in return I did, did launder the quilt for her, so she does have a most <laughs> delightful little dog, Rufus, we love Rufus two bits. But Rufus has been sat on a couple of places and um, <laughs> he's, made, can see he's where made his Rufus mark, is, is so to speak, it has. So, um, <laughs> which, do you know what, I am absolutely fine with. I have no problem because I'm really pleased because she puts it on her bed and um, Rufus does sit on the bed as well. Um, and so it's been well, well used, well loved. I'm really, 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 really happy. But yeah. um, it, it, it has washed up okay. It does need a little bit of extra attention in a couple of places, but I think we'll let it go. Yeah. So this is a uh, Denise Schmidt pattern. It is a Denise Schmidt. It was. Um, it's not the free, um, the free wheeling girl. It's the original pattern whose name I forgot. Single girl. It could be single, single girl. girl. Single girl. I think. And yeah. the difference being that the rings touch. 
Whereas oh, in right. the freewheeling girl, the rings do not touch. Oh, okay, I didn't know that. Okay, mm. and I did actually meet her and showed her, <laughs> I did a real fangirl thing with her. I showed her the picture of it and she said um, the reason she changed the pattern is because she couldn't get the templates on one. It was a printing process oh, that made her oh, right. reconsider. Oh, okay. So, because uh, it ran into too many sheets or something. It got too expensive so, then, yeah, I presume. Yeah, I presume. Yeah. Uh, but I do know when I was making it because all I all I saw on um, the Instagram so far, I, I saw a space between the rings, and right. I didn't understand why my quilt didn't look. Oh. And so in the end, I decided, well, I'll just go with what you want to do. But the difference being, if it was a different pattern, <laughs> right? That would explain so, it then, yeah. wouldn't it? Yeah. And I noticed now she's got another technique. Uh, I think it's her technique because Erin um, from House on Hill. Yes, road. road. She has just gifted something similar to one of her relatives. Right. And she did it as a free cut process. This was done with templates. Yes. Yeah. And she, I think it was an hour free cutting method. Oh, is that? So you don't have to... You don't yeah. have to have the template? No. <gasps> Might look at that. No. So I think, that, and I think she did say it was a much better way of making it because it is quite time consuming to yes. take all the templates. Yeah, definitely. So, but I did enjoy making it. Anyway, yeah. beautiful. Yeah. Absolutely beautiful. Great backdrop yeah. anyway. Yeah. Yeah. So, um... What have you been working on? Um, what you got to show? Well, I have been dressmaking. I have done a little bit of quilting and I've done a little bit of dressmaking. Right. So. Mine's mainly, I have to say, dressmaking as well. I have, I have got a quilt on the frame at the moment, but um, it's been a bit slow. It's been a bit slow getting it done. So it's it's on its way. So probably the next time we meet, I'll yeah. probably have that one to show. But, but it's summer. And I it's think summer there's, holidays. There's a slowdown in the summer, isn't there? Yeah. So um, I have been out in the garden a lot, I'll be honest, because my garden doesn't like me. No. I keep coming out in rashes. Coming out in a rash. I don't know. I don't know. There's something in the garden that doesn't like me at the moment. But um, but anyway, so normally I would be out there more in the summer than I have been. Yeah. Um, but I haven't. I've been sewing clothes. Okay, so what have you been making then? Um, this, is, this is one of yours, is it? Yes, You're wearing? yes. This was the first one I made because I, I was just testing it. Oh, I've gone and left the pattern over there. So this is the Sew Over It Libby shirt. Sorry. So, which I really rather liked. I like the, it's kind of vintagey mm -hmm. with a little, it's very loose fitting. Yeah. A little bit vintagey. Um, I did make a couple of changes to it. Um, so this was the first one I made and I've subsequently made another one. Which I again, I like I like vintage looking things. Nice. So um, it hasn't got any buttons on it yet. So I did everything apart from the buttons. And I've been ferreting in my button box. Why and I took a picture of her button box to put oh, up did as you? well. I oh. did. Yeah, because it's. Why do you never better. have enough of the buttons that you need in your button box? Always the way. Yeah, I need to always six. one short or yeah, yeah two yeah. short and yeah. yeah, it's always the way. It's, it is all the way, and buttons are expensive. They are. Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah. So, um, That's very pretty. So this, it's quite short, isn't it? It is. It is short. It's quite boxy. It's quite boxy, um, which I actually like. I think it suits my shape better. I've only just recently discovered this. Right. Okay. Um, this one's probably just a tad too big, but that's fine. I can live with it. It's better it's too big yeah. than too small. Um, I didn't put the the little cuffs on the sleeves. Right. Um, mainly because I have very large upper arms, and I don't want anything else to draw attention to. Them. Oh, okay. so I left those off right. and I did have to do a full bust adjustment on it so whilst I don't have a big bust um, I am of a mature bust type which means they've gone south a bit <laughs> gone a bit saggy yeah so well, saggy not saggy not saggy not it's saggy. gone south well, that makes it saggy south. doesn't it well not mine they've gone they've south gone <laughs> they've dropped they've just dropped so instead of being like from your shoulder to your, to your bust point, I know, I want to say it's normally on most pans, 10, 10 and a half inches. So mature bust, <laughs> after feeding four kids. It's like too much it's, Well, no, 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 this is important. This is important because it means that if you do darts and things, your darts are going to be too high if you do, take, do what the pattern requires you to do. So if you look at a pattern, sometimes you see, well, sometimes you see women wearing clothes where the bust dart is pointing not at their nipple, it's pointing up towards their here. And that's because it's not been lowered to it's match their, their body. Their yeah. bust line. Yeah. So the bust there is there, the, the bust dart is there for a reason. It's to form that 3D shape to fit your, this is no, there's no dart in I was going to say there's no dart in so that this, one. So it's a dartless <laughs> pattern. Nonetheless, 
the pattern is drafted for a, a bust which is higher, so I had to drop it. Oh, okay. So I dropped my bust point about an inch and a half. So Lisa from um, So Over It, obviously her bust line has not gone south. Well, she's a young girl still, isn't she? So, I mean, she's only early 30s, I think, so. so uh, that's, not, that's not a problem either, I don't think. No. Well, it's... <laughs> Unfortunately, I have. <laughs> so, there you go. So, but it is fairly okay. common. It is common with mature figures. Um, so, yeah, so I did a full just abusment. Just, just, just. <laughs> You know what I mean? Um, the other thing. <laughs> it's going to be one of those sessions today. <laughs> oh, dearie me. Right. <laughs> background as well. I'd okay. like to say that I'll edit that out. You don't edit anything, Cap, and I get my words tongue-tied. I'll start again. I will be sensible. Okay. And I've lost what I was going to say. Oh, I know what I was going to say. I'm just going to say, doing a full bust, oh. also, um, you ideally you want to get it to fit properly up here. Okay. Yeah. So this is, a, this is a little bit big for me. It is a little bit big. It's not too bad. I made a second one. This one is better on me because I did a little bit of a change. So, <laughs> you want it to fit your shoulders, but it might not fit your waist because that you'll you'll be a smaller size. Oh, this here. is very technical. This is far no, too. No, 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 no. It's not actually. Liking. You're better off making sure that your it, your neck and your upper body doesn't tend to change shape as you put on weight. Right. So this part of your body remains fairly consistent, okay. even if you put on a few pounds. But so from but there downwards. But, you, but you'll put on weight on your bust, and you'll put on weight on your on your waist. Yes. And depending on what type of figure you are, I tend to put all my weight underneath my bust, mm. so I get I get bigger there. Yeah. So for this pattern, for example, I cut a size twelve, but my waist is a size fourteen to okay. sixteen. Right. So, but by doing a full bust, you not only lower the bust point, you ex you actually add um, extra to the uh, the width down at the lower end. Okay. So by doing that full bust, it does like two in one. It, 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 it fits you it fits you in the right place, so you've dropped it, and but it also the increases the width. Right, and with So you. it does double duty. Okay, so, and with so you. It, yeah. it's, it's fairly important that, um, for me, I had to do that to fit me. And look, I love the fact that she's got little homemade labels in there as well, look. I did, yeah. Yeah. So, Handmade by Tracy Pereira, 2019. So can you, you bought presumably you bought that in online. I did buy it online. Yeah. That's really cute. Yeah. That's a really yeah. nice finish. So I just I just designed the, the logo yeah. thing and I sent it off and they printed it for really me. And, and um, actually I I've got the link. I can give you that. It's, yeah. It's, a, it's you know fabulous service. Really yeah. nice. So I ordered some last year. Um, just sent the PDF off and then I chose the colour I wanted. Mm. This year it's I was a really back. nice touch just to finish your garment yeah. off, isn't it? Um, I sent off a. The 2019, I changed the colour because I thought, oh, you know, I can't do something really cool by having a different colour for each year. Yeah. <laughs> just so I could dye it. Just for me. Yes. Now, this isn't for anybody Visual. else. It's only for me. Um, and the, I don't know if it's a man or a woman, they came back to me. I sent the PDF off. I bought on eBay. It was on there on eBay. Yeah. They came back and said, well, do you not want orange? Because I had orange last oh, year. They oh, knew. That's really good. They remembered. It? And so I said, no, I'm just doing something. And literally, I had them um, the next day. Fantastic. So it's service That's really good, was superb. Yeah. And they're not expensive. I think I got, um, this time I didn't buy as many labels. I think I only purchased like 30 labels. Mm. And I want to say it was like six or seven pounds. Oh, that's good. They're not that's that's expensive. Good, so. so it's just a nice finishing top. Yeah, it is. I think it's really yeah. nice. So anyway, so I did that. So this is good. the second one. I have, a, I have adjusted this again. I've actually um, taken... The back, um, the back length was just a little bit too long for me, so I've actually took a half an inch out the back mm -hmm. uh, way, so I nipped that up a bit, and um, I've repositioned the buttons and stuff a little bit as well. Yeah. So, but it's a nice, simple Very pattern, nice. and it is easy because it hasn't got the darts. I mean, I'll make that two or three times, I think. Okay, and and the, the, the fabric, way. by the way, is from a, a friend of mine. She was clearing out her mum's stash. And, um, That's nice, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Just quite like vintage. Yeah, very nice. Uh, I made another pair of Soha Seven uh, free, free range slacks. This is with the slight the peg the peg leg version. Yeah. I don't know what you call it. Maybe it's version one, version two. I don't know what Crop. it is. 
but they're cropped for a reason that's because I miscut they weren't supposed to be short but I love them I haven't had them off my body <laughs> A little bit trendy with the cami. It is. Um, I'm just looking out the window because it is actually thundering and I have, a, I have a sneaky suspicion that any minute now the sky's going to open. So if we go very dark, um, then that's why. Yeah. Um, but yeah, look, they look nice and comfy. They're fantastically comfy. Yeah. I really, really love I them. I need to get on with mine. Yeah. I, I, I bought the pattern. I bought the pattern online um and i sent mine off to again we'll put the link but netprinter yeah .co .uk, yeah. and i sent them the link and i think i got it back the following, the following the, they day are they were super so quick, quick super really quick, quick. I, I, for, so. for, 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 for this pattern and for the libby shirt i actually did the pdf at home and printed and mm. stuck it together and i don't, I don't normally do that because I, I like it thanks isn't it um i think i couldn't be but i didn't want to wait so i just did it yeah um yeah, but I definitely recommend doing that. Good. And I did another Cleo skirt. Another Cleo. So, oh, that's so. pretty. So this was pretty with fabric. Um, like a double gauze, which yeah. I don't know where I got my fabric from. Cute. The only thing I don't like, and I think I might change it, then again I might not because I'm very lazy like that anyway, is I put the bigger hem on it thinking it might be nice to weight it down a bit. Yes. Yeah. This is a slightly longer version than I've done in the past. Yeah. And I thought it might be nice just to have a little, but I don't think I like it. I think I need to take it off and make it shorter. But I won't. I know I won't. No. <laughs> I might need to, but I know I won't. <laughs> so, so while we're talking about um, the Clio, I don't know if you if you remember, but I think it was in one of the very first episodes I showed a a Clio that I was making in this fabric, and you um, weren't happy with I it, wasn't happy you? with it. Just didn't didn't suit me at all. It just yeah, it just made me look absolutely huge. Um, and I need to sew that in. I've just noticed that. Um, so I thought I really like fabric so rather than waste it I would take it all apart and I would um, recut it as a new look pattern that um, I've, I've got a skirt in um, already so um, so I unpicked it cut it out and I wanted to make use of the pockets that I already yes, had cut yeah. for the Clio rather than that so I kept the, the pockets Recut it, and oh, as you can see, it's on a fixed waistband. Yeah. Um, so, got a concealed zip, put the zip in, then realised I'd forgotten to put the waistband on. Took the zip out, put the waistband on, put the zip back in, closed the zip, waistband didn't match up. Took the zip out, then managed to put it on back to front. Yeah. Unpicked it again, put it on again, still didn't match up, unpicked it again, put it back in, sewed the sides on, tried it on, and the flipping thing didn't fit. Oh no! Oh no! At which point I was practically, because it was sheer stubbornness that was keeping me yeah. going at this yeah. point, yeah. Um, yeah, practically in tears with it by this point. I was so frustrated, thought I am not, not giving in, right. so took it off. Let it out as much as I possibly could right. on the side seams. Put so it on was the it the hips that didn't fit it? Well, all over yeah. really. Yeah. Those hips um, don't lie, do they? And um, yeah, look, it's, it's just opening up now. It's just starting to throw it down. Um, so, yeah, it fits. It fits. You it's, should call that your Shakira skirt. My what? Shakira. Why? Because the hips don't lie. So, yeah, sorry. <laughs> I have worn it. I have worn it, um, and actually, I was quite pleased with it when I did wear it. It was, I was, I was and I got a yeah, few compliments okay. on it. I think, so. I think that's more your style, isn't it? I think yeah. so. I yeah. think that's what I need to stick yeah. to in the future. Yeah, lovely. No more of these gathers. These horrible devils work gathers. Um, but do, so do, yes. don't you think it's hard to know what your style is? So, yeah, I also think accept so. what suits you. Yes, I think that's the good. thing. Accepting, Accepting what? what? I see loads of things online. I think, oh, I really like that. Really yeah, like that. And, that, and I've made loads. I've tried them on. I thought, oh my god, look hideous. I mean, yeah, I mean, look hideous. and that definitely did not I look hideous in a lot of things. But I mean, and I have noticed yeah. I haven't finished the. Um, no, I haven't finished the hair. Yeah. 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 Well, yeah. yeah. I need to sort that as well. Yeah, well I've obviously worn it like that as well. But the thing is that the fact that you had those challenges or those those things that you had to sort out 
Um, I have those as well on those, those trousers there. The reason mm. they're short is because I put the side panel the wrong way yeah. up. And so it happens. So it happens. And, you, and the other thing is, if you're doing it as I do quite often late at night, yes, not you're not concentrating, concentrating properly. You know, you're desperate to do some sewing because yeah. you want to sew. Yeah. And then you don't think, do you? And that no. was. Um, <laughs> so, yes, it was lucky <laughs> it survived. Um, and the other thing I've made, of course, is I this. It. I really like so that. So, this is the uh, Tilly and the Button Stevie top. Um, we had um, one of the girls who comes to dressmaking in the shop, they'd made a dress in it and it looked amazing. It looks really I like the back. The back's on like, he's got like a yoke on the back with a little. I think it's happened to um, show you that. Yeah, it's got a, a yoke here and then this little closure on the back. It's really nice. So, the, a lot of people would make the pattern do the ties. They, they had like ties at the top oh, here, yeah. but I didn't like that, so no. I just stuck with the button. But yeah, I'm really pleased with it. Yeah, it and this you. is a, this, I think it's, I want to say it's Nat Alison Glass. Double oh, gauze that I bought when we were on hot holiday yeah, in you Seattle, showed Portland. That. Yeah, I remember you showing it. So I'm yeah. feeling quite quite good about it. Yeah, I've used it. I've used it. And the, the double gauze is really comfy to wear, isn't oh, it? Oh, it's lovely. Yeah. So easy. Yeah. Really comfy. Yeah. And this was no no changes, no alterations. It was a straight up size. I think it was a size 12 that I, I like, did. I like to patterns I find that she dressed really yeah, well. Yeah, it was it was really yeah. a nice a nice yeah. make. I really yeah. enjoyed doing it. So. So yeah, I've seen more of these, more of these, yeah. and I think I got it out of. Well, I only had a yard and a half. Mm, that's good. Then. Yeah. So um, it doesn't use a huge quantity no, of fabric. Yeah. So, yeah, because yeah. it becomes expensive then, doesn't it? Yeah. So I was quite pleased with that. Yeah, you should be very pleased with it. Um, the it? other one I've yeah, made is, is this, which I, again I haven't worn yet, but um, Ooh, so this is um, this is a scout tee. And it is really Ooh. lashing it down, so if you could hear it on, on the, <laughs> the video, then I do apologise. Oh but goodness. it is chucking it down now. Horrendous. Oh, I suddenly realised my kitchen door was open. That could be interesting. Do you want to stop the video? No, okay. you don't know. Be, there is somebody else in there. So, that now. so this was a scout tea. Um, I think it was this Cloud 9 fabric. And I did have a small issue with the sleeve. What put in me? Yeah. I think I ended up with somehow I ended up with two left. <laughs> oh, did you know if you cut them out single did you cut them out as a single leg? I yeah. did. So I think but anyway, yeah. they've gone in, they seem okay, so yeah. but yeah, that's I must admit if I if I it's better to cut a single leg because then you you can position your fabric better. Yes. And um, certainly on uh, knit fabrics, I think cutting a single layer is better than cutting on the fold. Yeah. For, for knit fabrics for sure. Um, but, but it does mean you have to pay a bit more attention. Well, I tend if I do do that, I make two sleeves, so that I know I've got two sleeves. I've yes. got a left and a right because yeah. I've done that so many times yeah. where I've, I've got them. So the only thing I got left really is um, and it's it's not. I've made it a little while ago, but um, I thought I'd bring it in. I'm going to um, put a hanging sleeve on this and hang it in our hallway. So this was a workshop I did. Um, I called it Wacky Wedges or something wacky like that. Wedges. Wacky Wedges. And again, I think it's Denise Schmidt fabric. It's got a bit of a thing about Denise Schmidt. Um, yeah, so. It's a beautiful foundation piece. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Very nice. And then just straight line quilted, yeah, but really down like at an it. angle. So. Yeah. It's very, very nice. Quite pleased with fabric's it. Fabric's lovely, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I've got the name of this range now. I think. No, I can't remember oh, what it is now. Is it Hope? Not Hope Valley. No. Uh, I'll find it. I'll check. No, I can't remember. No, I can't, I can't remember. remember. So yes, yeah, so that's Beautiful. um, so that's to do, and oh. um, I think I think that's me. Yeah. And um, what you got? Oh, uh, anything else? Well, the only other things I've, I've got is um, these little things that I was working on for um, little oh. little house of patchwork, which is a a shop in Chichester, or just outside of Chichester, um, had a, a little challenge. Um, on these, both of these little mini quilts, there is a, a badge. There's a, oh, there, there, there's a little animal badge. This one's got a little wood mouse, and this one's got a, spa, um, a house sparrow. And they were doing a, a challenge, a quilt, a mini quilt challenge, on uh, in aid of the um, RSPB. Can you hear the thunder? Can you hear the thunder? <laughs> Wow. Yeah. Okay. A lot of British summer at its best. I think, <laughs> yeah, British summer. 
Anyway, go on then. Uh, so yeah, so they're doing this this challenge for the um, the RSPB, so for the Royal Society uh, for Protection of Birds, and they have these little pins. So a friend of mine purchased a, um, a set of pins, and then um, <gasps> said to us, "Who wants which one?" And get a, go ahead and make them. So they had to be no more than nine by twelve inches, just a little mini. I think I slightly missed the point because um, I did these just after we got from the Festival of Quilts because basically I forgot to do them and they have to be in by the 16th of August I think it was, 16th mm. of August, yeah, or that, no, some, some date around there. Um, I missed the point because I did look online and noticed everybody else had made like little mini scenes and then used their pins oh, in, in the, the scenes. scenes. So I think, I've, anyway, I'm oh, sure. Oh, I don't think it matters. Anyway, they're donations, they're going to be, I think they're going to be sold or raffled off or something in aid of the um, the RSPB so um, oh, I, I hope they make a little bit of money cool. and um, so cute. but this one do you, I don't know if you stitches. yeah do you remember I took the Linda Miller I do yes I remember I took a class with Linda Miller um, who um, is a really really good free motion embroiderer free motion free, yeah, yeah, free, free, motion. free yeah. machine embroidery free machines at embroidery so basically you put the fabric in a in a an embroidery hoop but you're stitching on your machine so you're basically just moving the hoop up and down mm. you drop your feet dogs move up and down to actually create the stitches so uh, and, it, and, and it covers really quickly actually yeah. I was quite surprised I thought that was going to take effective. me forever yeah because there's a lot of stitching in well there, I did both it? of them in a day wow. so um, so that one I really enjoyed doing that one and you're changing threads all the time so it's really nice because you get to use your threads. Yes. So I really like doing that. So and you'll have lots of threads. Well, I certainly do. So I did that. Very and then nice. This one because I didn't. I wanted to get them both done in the day. Yeah. I was going to applique this. Yeah. And I thought oh, that's not going to happen. I don't have time for that. So basically, I I stitched it out and I quilted it, and then I just used Derwent ink tents pencils um, to actually colour it in. Oh, okay. Which work, oh, I did actually make the fabric behind. So if you look at the fabric. Oh yes, I can see so that. I made the fabric on um, the inkjet printer stuff that you can get. You know, you put the you make your design oh, and then put it through that. the printer, and it, it works really well. So it's the same bird that's the design. Yeah. Is, so I enlarged it. I'll try and get a, a photo of that so, so we can get a, a bit of a yeah. close up. But you won't be able to see it possibly because no. the, because it's a house fire and they're black and brown basically. Um, but the thread I used was I used the Arafil 12 weights mm. um, in a brown. Yeah. Um, and actually, just I just quilted that on the domestic. So, right. Um, but I was telling you, was I? I should share the secret. This is a secret, okay? Shh, don't tell anybody. So, if you want to use the, the wool, uh, the 12 weight wool is quite soft and it will break. Okay, and I think you, you discovered that when you were trying yes, to Yes, I was it. trying to use a, a wool on the long arm yeah. and having awful problems with it and just didn't feel that I had the expertise um, to be able to adapt and cope with it yeah. really, so I took it off and changed yeah. it. If your tension's too tight, for sure it's going to break and snap really quickly. Um, so you do need to lower your tension a little bit. But I find with a, with a wool thread, if you run a carrier thread through it at, at the same time, so I ran a 40 weight thread um, so if you look closely, there's a black 40 weight thread and there's a brown, a dark brown uh, 12 weight uh, wool thread. I can't, I can't um, see the carrier. Well, it's, it's actually, I say 12 weight, I think wool is 12 weight, I'm not sure actually. Might not I be. can't uh, see. Wool, wool is, whatever the wool weight is, it's the, the lana that Aurifil do. Um, but anyway, it really helps to support that wool if it's going through your machine. So and obviously use a, a large eye on your, your needle, so you want a, an embroidery sized eye needle. Um, yeah. So yeah, and it went through fine, it quilted up very nicely, so um, and quilted in one pass. Wow, so, that was cool. Very good. So, I was very pleased with that. So anyway, so they're going off to somebody, hopefully they'll bid on them and yeah. take them home with them. Or, I, don't, nice. I, don't, I don't honestly know what they're going to do, but um, I shall drop those off. I haven't actually been down to the Little House of Patchwork before, so I'm looking forward to seeing the shop as well. So, yeah. um, and she's a long gone, mm, uh, oh. as I understand. So, <laughs> I don't know that was like me. everything now. So, so, yeah, so that was me basically. Good. So, um, so, yeah, we haven't got much to show this time, I'm afraid. Uh, well, well, I don't know, we've shown a few things. We've shown a few we've things, a few but things. Um, as Tracy said, it's summer holiday, so um, yeah, I've been doing mainly um, clothes really with them up until now. So. 
But the other thing we thought we might do, um, obviously on our last video we talked about Stuart's book um, that Tracy bought when we were at the Festival of Quilts. So what we thought we would do is we'd have a look through it and we'd choose one to make. Yes. So, uh, I don't, did you decide on one? No, I didn't. I liked them all. <laughs> well, I sort of, I think I'm, I've decided, I think I'm going to do the modern chain. Oh, yeah. Which is that one there. Yeah. And I'm going to try and maybe maybe look at it to maybe using some fat quarters. Oh. Because I have rather a lot of fat quarters. Well, I do actually as well. And I'm not sure, but I'm going to see if I can get a block out of a fat quarter. A fat quarter. Yeah. With something with it. So I'm going to have a go at that one. Right. So Okay, so that's based around a nine patch? Yes. Ooh, okay. <gasps> She's on the spot now. I She's on the spot now. So I tell you what, I am drawn to that one on the front. Which, which? Well, this one here? This one. Okay. Um, and that, that, that reminds me a little bit of Anna Maria Horner's. Yes. Uh, and folk. also, what's the other Australian? It was a... Um, oh, Sarah Filkey? Yes, Sarah yes, Filkey? that's okay. it, yeah. Yeah, so I can actually quite like that. Are you going to do that one? I don't know, it looks like a lot of work. <laughs> so it may not. <laughs> that, may, that, that had nothing to do with the fact that I chose that modern chain at all. <gasps> really? Um, oh, I don't know, I don't know. There's so many oh, nice ones. This is indecisive. <gasps> well, how do you catch them? You just... That's nice as well. Yes, so you do, like... you do have to just... Do I? Yeah, you do. You've got to choose one now. Wait a minute. Well, the thing on is, the, the thing is, no there are a hundred designs no to choose right. from. Just pick so, one. So, oh, well, Just okay. Do it. I've said it there. I'll do the folk art tea. Well, okay. actually, I, like, so I did like that yeah, one. Yeah, I know as you well. did. You said that See, one. See, that was that was the one that I was drawn to last time. Wasn't we'll it? do that one. Well, I might do that in Christmas. <sighs> Colours. In Christmas. Could do, couldn't I? Okay. But then I might do the one on the front. Oh. She used to be indecisive, but now she's not so sure. Yeah, exactly. Oh. You made one of those, didn't you? Tumbler, Tumbler, yes. Tumbler. Yes. Yep. It's nice, isn't it? So, so that's going to be our challenge. Do we have to do that by the next time we meet? Oh or? gosh, that's going to be... Actually, I have a die cut for tumblers. That's cheating. Why? Why is it, why is it cheating? Because <laughs> I haven't got one. <laughs> I do. I have mm -hmm. one. I might let you borrow it if you want it to as well. Okay. Oh, there's so many nice ones. See, that, one, okay. that one's a nice one too. Kaleidoscope. I've never made a Kaleidoscope. I've made a Kaleidoscope. So, yeah. So, at some point, Tracy will fix on a quilt and we will both make a quilt from Stuart's book. It doesn't have to be quilted though. Oh, okay. All right. Just pieced. Top pieced. See, I like that one. What? The, that the one. wild goose? That's very traditional. Yes. Wild goose. Chase is really traditional. I quite like that one. Did I, have I actually done something like that? I know that looked like an awful lot of work. That's, that's a lot of, of um, a lot lot of of flying geese. Flying geese. So yes, I'm not sure about that. What method do you use for making flying flying geese? Uh, we could we could talk about flying geese in one session actually. Yeah. Um, yeah, actually we could do it. We could do a session on flying geese. There's lots of ways to make. There flying are lots geese. of ways to do it. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Oh. We'll move on because she could be here for a while. Ooh. So that's for our next session. Ooh, actually, that's that's so nice. She's still going. Box. Look at that. Oh, oh, Stuart, what have you done? Yes, all awesome. your fault. Yes. Okay. Anything else? Uh, no, I no. Think I'm, I think I'm done. I'm, I'm... The, I think the electricity is about to get cut off at any point. Oh yeah, yeah. Husband has decided to have a, a smart meter. Which is actually quite worrying for me because it now means he's going to know how much electricity I use for the iron and for the sewing machines. <laughs> Culpability. And, oh. oh, not so good. How did they do that actually? I don't know. How did they identify? I should know this, shouldn't I? Really? You should do this. <laughs> anyway, so that's about to happen, so we are about to be disconnected. I think I'm already disconnected <laughs> in more ways than one. <laughs> I'd agree with that actually. Yeah, I know you're not yeah. outside it. Oh. Um, <laughs> so, thanks for watching. Yes, nice to have you with us. Yeah. Hopefully this one's not been quite as long. I, I have been told we're supposed to say other things at the end of the video. What? Like what? I don't know, give it a thumbs up. Oh yeah, no, my, my youngest son said this, you, you've got to subscribe, you've got to like, and you've got to push the notification button. Okay. 
I have no idea what any of that means. I know the like. So, yeah, if you, if you enjoyed it, give us a thumbs up. Yeah, tell your friends. Um, and um, I don't, I'm not sure about the notification button bit. I don't know what that is. I think there's a bell. There's a, there's a bell, isn't there? Is there? I think if you... I don't know, maybe, maybe there's... You can turn the bell on or off. I don't know, in which case you'll be told or notified when we put a new video up. Okay. So that's what you've got to do. Yeah, you can tell we know what we're doing, can't you? So. Right, I think that's it. That's it. What okay. Are you, what are you making next month? Apart from this. Apart from that, uh, I, what have I got? I've got, a, I've got a canvas set top cut out ready to go. I've got a quilt on the quilt frame. I'm ca trying to catch up on some block of the month things. I think that's wow. enough, isn't it? Yeah, it's enough. Yeah, that's enough. I've got a hell of a dress by Sew Over It that's cut out. Um, I've got about a million quilts that need quilting. Yeah. And I just want to catch up on housey things. Yeah. So that's all right. That's, that's going to be that's me. It. That's going to be me. Okay. So I think that's it. Thanks for joining us. Remember, we are the only kind of curly seams that you need in your life. <laughs> working on that one. Yeah, yeah, I've got yeah, like that. Like that? Yeah, that. Okay. So on that note, it's good night from me. And it's good night from her. Bye. Good night. <laughs>